Hi everyone, it's Patty Behan, and thank you for joining me in the studio today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make dots with liquid pearls. I have an easy way that's practically foolproof. So let's get started. All right, to begin, I have this card here that I'm just going to accent with some dots um, in the center of the flower and then around the center. And I'm going to be using some lemon chiffon and marigold liquid pearls. And then I have these Wendy Vecchi Make Art Stylus tools that will help me to make my round dots. And so first thing you wanna do is just put a good amount of the liquid pearls onto your craft sheet. And I'll do my other color here. And I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to use the lemon chiffon. And you'll notice these tools, they have different size tips. And when I wanna make a larger dot, I'm going to use a larger tool and a smaller dot, I'll use a smaller tool. So I'm thinking I'm going to use this big one here because it kind of matches the size of my, the insides of my flower here. So what you want to do is you just want to dip the tip of the tool into the paint and then apply it to the center of the flower. And you can give it a little swirl to just even it out. And then I'll repeat it again. And what this does too, it doesn't um, put too much paint on there so that it's going to dry a little bit quicker. Let me see if I can bring this up for you so that you can see it. So that's the start of our dots and now I'm going to make some smaller dots and I'm going to use both of these colors together. And so let's use this tip here and again I'll just put it into the paint and then dot it on here and I'm not following there are dots on here already but I'm just just making my own pattern you'll find this technique is really simple and easy to do and I'll add a little extra something special to your card so I'm going around the outside and leaving some space in between the dots here let me see if you can see that And now, I, since I don't have so much space in between, I'm gonna go ahead and use this other side here to make some smaller dots. And I'm gonna go in between the dots that I did. And you could do this on the background too, just add some little dots and you can also try using the stylus to um, draw lines if you like. Okay, so that looks good. I'll show you again. And it's just that little shimmer that makes it really pop. And now, maybe for this one, I'll reverse it and I'll do the bigger dots with the yellow and the um, smaller dots with the other color. So I'll start with that first. And I wiped off my tool just to give it a little bit of a variation. As you can see, it's like very quick and easy. You don't even have to think about it. You can just go ahead and do it. Now I'll switch over to the other. Almost done. Just go around here. Okay. And now this is finished. And you can see just how that adds a little something extra. So let me show you some other ideas. We have this one here where we just put some dots just in the background. And then this is actually little freehand hearts that were in it. Let me bring that closer so that you can see. 
And then you can also take a piece of printed paper and just add some little dots around the edges here. It's another idea for you. And then this one is really fun. These are just freehand dots and it's like an explosion that looks really fun. That's perfect for that sentiment of surprise. And then this is using the, the dots in between blank spaces in the stencil. It's just a subtle little accent, but it just makes such a big difference. So I hope you'll give this a try. And for more videos on how to use liquid pearls, just keep watching.